I'm the curator and the producer for Real 13 Shorts, so I select the three films that filmmakers are submitting um, to the station, and I create a program each week, and then we present it online to um, viewers, people who visit the website to choose their favorite film that goes to the Saturday broadcast on Real 13. My vision of it was this was another platform to present independent short films, because shorts do have a difficult time, especially coming off of the festival circuit, in terms of there's not a lot of places on broadcasts um, in terms of trying to get more visibility for short films. So I saw this as another platform. It's been going well. I mean, people really are tuning in. The filmmakers are really excited about it. Um, I'm hearing from a lot of people outside of the station, outside of the filmmaking circles, who will be speaking to me, not realizing that I'm involved with the shorts, oh yeah, so this really great short, and they start telling me about it. So that says to me that general audiences too are clicking into it and seeing short films that they usually would not have access to. Well, ideally, what I would like to see happen is that the classic and the indie and the short are somehow have a thread you know, amongst them. I know that Channel 13 has had that practice in the past with their um, Cinema 13 series. Sometimes you see a whole block of films that were all related in some level. Um, for me, some weeks, the short is connected thematically to the classic. Sometimes it's connected to the um, indie. Sometimes there's been weeks where you could see maybe it was like a family theme, and each of the films did have like a family theme in it. Um, sometimes the three films that are up are just thematically tied to each other. The voting tool, the way it used to be, there used to be a five-star system, and people would rate it, as you would on Netflix or a lot of other um, programs. Above the stars, it said that when you selected, like if you selected three, for example, three stars out of five, maybe the average rating was four stars, and four stars would show. People were confused why their three wasn't showing. I would be getting a lot of filmmakers or their people would be like, I don't understand why, why is my vote not being counted? So the process, the rating system had to be simplified in order to make it easier for people to be able to engage. So now it's just vote for your favorite, and it's easier now, not only for the public, but also for the station. Everybody can see at any given time what's winning. What I would advise filmmakers to do, and I see this with a lot of the submissions that come in, to really focus on, first off, the storytelling. You know, like people can get kind of caught up in the production values and what camera they're shooting on and all kinds of other things, but it's really about the storytelling, about getting really strong, truthful performances. If it's a narrative film, you know, whether it, whatever other genre you're working on, to really focus on your craft as a filmmaker.